Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to go over my love-hate relationship with this new style entry door. Now this new style entry door started in Winnebago on the views and the Navions anyways in 2020. And I've noticed that some of the other manufacturers are slowly starting to incorporate this style of door. This door is actually pretty popular in some of the European models. So my love and hate relationship is that when I first saw it on video, I was amazed by this new style door and it looked absolutely amazing on video. Now that I've had the door for a few years, this new style door has a whole new set of problems that the previous generation doors did not have. So this is going to be a two-part series. In today's video, I'm going to go over the adjustment of this door, some other quirks, and a hack I have for the entry steps. But in my part two, circle back, I'm going to actually dissect this door. I'm going to take it all apart. And I'll show you what you can do to prevent some rattles and the squeaking that this door has a tendency to make when you're going down the road. So stick around. Uh, don't forget to circle back and watch my future video on this. But let's uh, go ahead and jump on making some adjustments on this door. Let me go over a couple of problems. Number one, when you shut the door, a lot of times you have to shut the door pretty firm. And if you don't, you will see that if the camera can pick up this angle, this door doesn't like to close or shut all the way and you will see daylight coming in. Now this goes for the top and the bottom. So let's go ahead and fix that. Um, I have adjusted my door in the past. So these doors do move a little bit. The hardware uh, does eventually move. So you may have to adjust this a couple of times. Just like the cabinet hardware, it is very finicky work. It's not something simple you can get in and adjust. But let's uh, first go over the how this door operates. Now, if you look at this door from the side, what it has is right here. This is called a slam latch. It's very similar to like a car. It has two positions. It has the first position, which it will shut the door and it will actually latch. And then it has a second position. Very important. Both these latches need to be in the second position for the door to be firmly closed. Let me open this, pull on this handle. So just like a car door, you know how you can partially close a car door and then you can push it again to make it latch all the way flush? Well, that is the issue. Now we have two of them and we need to line them up. And a common problem, let me show you what I have going on. A common problem is when you shut the door, so when I shut my door, my bottom latch likes to latch in that second position, but my top one doesn't like to latch all the way unless if I slam the door really hard. So we're going to uh, adjust that today. And how these slam latches work is that you don't need to do anything on the door itself. It's these U-bolts here. This is what the slam latch is catching on. And it's almost like the adjustment is opposite of what you would normally do. Because my door doesn't close all the way on the top, you would think that you would take that slam latch or this U-bolt and move it in the inner direction. But what you actually have to do is move it in the opposite direction so it latches sooner. Now, when you make an adjustment to one latch, just like the cabinet hinges, if you make adjustment to one, it can impact how the other one works. So today, we're only going to adjust this top one. Before we go much further, let me show you what I did here. What I did here is that I've added some white electrical tape right here. And basically, I lined it up with the washer position. That way, when I make the adjustment, I know where the original position was. You could do it with a pencil or a marker, whatever uh, suits your needs. And depending on which direction you're going, I plan on going in that direction. So all I did was put a piece of tape here. That way I can get a good reference mark of where I started from the beginning. And it's a pretty simple uh, system. Basically, actually it's pretty fragile. It takes a 10 millimeter wrench and you can just uh, loosen these nuts up just like this. You don't have to loosen them much and then you just you can tap them 
forward. Here we go. And I will likely need two hands because, let me uh, set this up. This uh, area is really hard for me to stage a camera because we're right by the stairs. So I'm going to need uh, both hands, but basically I loosen these up slightly and I make my, let me see here. Again, sorry, the camera is not going to pick this up the best, but I'm just moving it away from the tape because I know I need to go in the forward direction. And like I mentioned, this is pretty finicky work. So plan on spending some decent amount of time and I would not make big adjustments because you might end up with results worse than what you originally started with. So take your time. Make sure you know where your uh, reference point was from the beginning. And I'll show you a picture of this after I'm done here. So I'm going to firm everything up. There we go. So I have it firm here. And let's look at this again. Now if you look at it closely, you will see that there's a little gap between the tape and the washer. So I basically slight move this slightly forward. Now I'm going to uh, close this door and let's see if how this works. So now when I close the door, you still have to unfortunately be pretty firm with closing the door, but now my top is actually closed. Now this won't solve, you might still get a gap around the door. If you look at it closely, I put this piece of foam here and I have the automatic leveling jack. So anytime I level, or also on uneven terrain. This uh, box of the RV likes to tweak a little bit and you can get gaps here. So there's not much you can really do about that. I wouldn't uh, sweat it too much. You know, I'd make it up with some kind of uh, weather sealing instead of trying to adjust the door because if you adjust the door to try to get it perfect, as soon as you get into some unlevel situation, you'll get that gap again. Most importantly, you just want the door to be tight as well as the slam latch in that second position. So you can see, hopefully the camera picks that up, but you can see both of them are in the second position. Let me see if I can close the door a little bit more gentle. And there, that one I got on the first try. You know, usually I don't get these on the first try, but now that... Uh, it just takes a gentle closing. Hate the sound of having to actually slam it, but there's no other option with this new door. Let me give you another trick that I have while we're at this front entry door. I'm going to end up uh, snugging these uh, uh, nuts up a little bit tighter, but uh, let's go over here. Now, while we're at this entry door, another common problem up in this front area are these darn stairs. Now, how these stairs go in and out when your ignition is on and you put it in drive is that there's a little magnet sensor here that needs to line up with this magnet. And sometimes they don't line up correctly and you'll have to make an adjustment so they line up and close. And when you put your... I'm going to put the switch on so when you close the door, those magnets need to touch basically to make those stairs go in and, in and out. Now, one thing, uh, if you can't line these magnets up, something I uh, strongly recommend to keep in your arsenal, right here, right on this garbage can, I keep a magnet on here. Now, this, this magnet came from one of those, uh, you know, hidden key boxes. So I keep this magnet right here. And if you look at this magnet, and the reason, uh, I'll give you a couple explanations why I have this magnet. If you have this magnet, Instead of having to worry about lining this up, especially if you're on a trip, you can just put the magnet right by here. And you see how the stairs went in. The reason I have that is if I ever have this fail, at least I have something, a magnet here that I can tape up because it doesn't stick uh, very good. It's just a sensor. And that way I can always get these stairs back in. The other reason I have it is if you're ever parked on the side of the road and you have a curb next to here and when you open the door you don't want those uh, stairs to jam up against the curb that's the other reason i keep a magnet here 
So it's basically for a backup. That way if this ever fails or falls off or not uh, lines up and you just need to get these uh, stairs in, have a magnet handy and you can just get it on there. Hopefully that helps out, but uh, let me get this back on here. So really that's it to adjust this door. Gave you a quick synopsis, but do not make huge adjustments. Pick your poison. I like to have it where, because if you really look at this door, this handle, let me put it in this position here. This handle is not centered on the door. It's actually lower on the door. So when you have naturally closed this door, you're putting more force on the bottom of the door. The bottom of the door is going in first. So I like to make the adjustment where the top hinge the top hinge is a little further out. That way, the top latch is first and the bottom I have more force on. And it will have both of the slam latches. Let's go inside. Same thing when you're pulling on the handle. If you're closing it from the bottom or even here, it's not the center of the door. So when you close the door, naturally I have the top going in first because I'm holding holding further down on the door. Hopefully that made sense, but that's my adjustment for the door. And for once, I got the adjustment on the first try. So if you have these problems, hopefully uh, this trick helps you out. Hopefully that magnet is a good, uh, good hack to have. It's always good to have a magnet in your tools anyways. You can use it for a uh, dual purpose. But that's how you make the adjustment on the door. If you have any questions or comments, please write them below. And we'll see you on the next video.